Hey, I'm Jake. I play in Daylight, and I'm going to run through some gear I play. This is my guitar. It's a Fender. It's a Thin Line. Uh, I got this guitar years ago. Uh, my uncle actually helped me buy it. I think I was like, I want to say 13 when I bought this guitar. So it's been around for a little bit. What I like about this guitar is the, is the neck, especially. It's a solid neck. I, you know, other guitars, they have like, like a fretboard on there. I, don't, I just don't like the way that feels. Humbuckers, they came with the guitar, but they sound good, sounds heavy. Just keep it, you know, keep it stock. <laughs> it's my catchphrase, keep it stock. This is my, my head, it's a Marshall JCM 800. Uh, it's a two channel head, so distortion channel and then the clean channel. What I like about this head is they're loud. I think the distortion on it is great. It's a great distortion. Um, the clean has a little grit on it kind of like that. The distortion on this head's more like, I feel like it's more smooth. It's got more low end than some of the pedals I have. Just the clean tone on the Marshall 800, just. I don't know, it's got that little grit to it. Sounds cool. That's a clean tone. And then this is the distortion. Sounds sick, I think. This is a custom pedal made by Zach, our drummer. Um, all it does is just switch from clean to distortion. So first in my chain, I got my, my tuner, Polytune, same as Taylor and Joe. All tuners are the same to me, but they seem to like the S tuner, so it works for me. Next in my chain is the, the Rat Tail, Fuzz Rocious. Um, compliments of Zach, I don't know, I bought it off him. Another Zach pedal. I like it. I like it. It's a different distortion than my 800, but on tours where I haven't had my head like in Australia and Japan, works cool. I like it a lot. It's got a cool feedback feature to it. Uh, I'll play it for a second. There we go. The distortion on my head is more smooth, and this is more like attacky and aggressive. I've been using it on um, on the, the short song new. I feel like it's more of a fast song, more of a tacky, and it just. I don't know. I think it sounds cool. Uh, it also has a cool like uh, feedback feature that I like to use sometimes on the, some of the parts that we like ring out and Zach's playing the drums and you just gotta get a little feedback. It's cool. It's uh... <laughs> and when you when you pick slide and stuff, it's makes a different sound than just regular uh, feedback into the amp. My next pedal in my chain is uh, the Swan Pickle. It's a pretty popular pedal, but it's a, it's a fuzz pedal. It's real, like, there's, on mine I have myself just like a lot, it's a lot low end. I think that's just how the pedal is. It's really ballsy. Um, it's different than some other fuzzes. I have I have a Big Muff, I don't have it on here, but I feel sometimes it lacks the low end. I use it now on Younger Starter Live. Uh, it just sounds, it's just real heavy after Taylor plays that beginning riff and just I think, I think it rocks. Uh, the next pedal I got here in my chain is uh, the Phase 90 MXR pedal. Uh, it's cool. I don't use it on too many parts, but uh, I use it on Life in a Jar, the one little solo thing. Uh, it's a cool pedal. I'll play it real quick. <laughs> you play it? Go something like that. I don't use it in too many songs, but I like it for just like a little bit of texture. I also use it uh, live on um, the song Outside of Me on the solo part. <laughs> Uh, it just adds a little bit more to the solo. Uh, next pedal I got here is my the Holy Grail. It's a reverb pedal, pretty popular pedal. It's got a few different settings, the spring, the hall, and then the flurb, which is the coolest setting, but I don't use it. Uh, I've been stuck in the hall. I just I usually I dial it back from a little bit from halfway, and I've been using it on more and more parts lately. The first song on the record, Sponge, I use it on that lead uh, live. It sounds cool. <laughs> Kind of fucked it up.
it up, but you get the idea. Oh, I can do the in on it lead way better. Okay. I can do it way. <laughs> Just adds a little bit more. It's cool pedal. And then the last in my chain, I have a, the MXR micro amp. I leave it on mostly uh, when we start playing. I just got it, but uh, I like it. It adds just a, even a little more grit to like the clean tone that I already have off the off my head. It gives it a little more feel than just the regular. Like I mean, you can notice just that's with it off, and then with it on, just no. The amp sings a little bit more. I usually use just monster cables. They have the lifetime warranty on them. I don't have all monster cables because. I lose them sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where they go. If I'm ever going out to buy cables, I usually just pick up a monster cable. This is my gear. Thanks for checking it out. Hit up my boy Zach if you're looking for uh, some shit. You well, know. What my friend's <laughs> trying to say is he likes his stuff and he's gonna keep it. So yeah, not for sale. You can't buy this shit. Yeah. <laughs>